Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for your uh, strong efforts to uncover the truth of what's uh, occurring before us today. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I, I appreciate you being here today. Uh, yesterday, I had the opportunity to stand in front of polling locations during a primary where hundreds of concerned citizens of both political parties uh, expressed to me their uh, shock and outrage uh, that the president would release five terrorists who they believe uh, will have a background of having um, been fa facilitators of the attacks of September 11, 2001. We know the Taliban allowed uh, the al-Qaeda to operate uh, from safe havens in uh, Afghanistan and the United States. Uh, and for the top leadership of uh, this um, terrorist uh, regime, uh, for the president to release them uh, is uh, just incredible to the people I represent because they know that the terrorists have a goal in mind. And the goal is very clear, death to America, death to Israel. And the thought that uh, people like this would be released uh, was just inconceivable uh, to the people that I uh, spoke with yesterday. Additionally, uh, putting this in the context of uh, this week, Al-Qaeda, or Taliban terrorists, have attacked Karachi twice. Uh, dozens of citizens have been murdered uh, by the Taliban. Uh, it's not just Americans at risk. Additionally, in Baghdad, uh, there have been car bombings with, again, uh, dozens of people uh, being murdered. Uh, this week, we had the circumstance of Mosul uh, now possibly coming under uh, al-Qaeda control, again, creating a safe haven which will affect American families and the homeland uh, because the safe havens will be used for attacks on America. The safe havens are growing across North Africa, Middle East, Central Asia. Uh, I believe it's dangerous to provide uh, more uh, terrorist leadership uh, as this is occurring. The president was wrong. Last year, he announced uh, that terrorism was being diminished around the world. In fact, it's growing, and it's growing exponentially. Uh, and with that in mind, on June the 5th, Time magazine, of all people, reported an interview that they conducted with the Taliban commander in Afghanistan, where the reporter asked him if this deal had inspired he and others to attempt to capture other American military personnel. The Taliban commander replied, quote, definitely. It's better to kidnap one person like Bergdahl than capturing or kidnapping hundreds of useless people, end of quote. And the quote continued, it has encouraged our people. Now everybody will work hard to such an important bird, end of quote. Can you now recognize that there is an increased risk to our service members because of this outrageous deal? Uh, first, let me note again, the Taliban policy for 12 years has been to do exactly what that Taliban representative told Time magazine, uh, and that is to capture American servicemen. So that's not, uh, that's not new. Uh, I go back again to the factors that we all looked at to be able to substantially mitigate the risk to this country, to our allies, uh, to our interests. And we believe the analysis of the, in, uh, the intelligence community, all who had a role in this, that we could substantially mitigate the risks through the 12-month memorandum of understanding. The Cutter provided the enforcement of the security there. The other follow-on dynamics of, and threats and realities, which we factored in, uh, we believed uh, were mitigated enough. These are five individuals who have been off the battlefield for 12, 13 years. Doesn't mean they won't go back. Uh, this is a, diff a different world, different world for us as well. So uh, I would give you those answers again. I know that you don't agree with them, but I would also remind all of us <laughs> There's risk to all of this. This is not a perfect situation. Uh, I, I know that. We all know that. And that's why we spend an awful lot of time. But we, we really should look at what our enemies say. And the Augusta Chronicle on Tuesday, June the 3rd, reported that one of the five, Mullah Mohammed Fazl, a leader infamous for his exceptional cruelty, according to Taliban Commander Mullah Salam Khan, Fazl's return is like pouring 10,000 Taliban fighters into the side of jihad. End of quote. Uh, Mr. Secretary, uh, our, our country's at risk. Our, uh, uh, you identified the homeland as if it was uh, far away. Uh, it's not. Uh, the safe havens are being created to attack the American people here, and action should be taken, and, and that would not include 
releasing terrorist leaders. Thank you. Congressman, there, I can assure you there's nobody more aware of that than this Secretary of Defense. And well, there's no you, one you, doing more to well, do Well, please act that way. My goodness. Thank